Last thing we need to do is install our new chip breaker to keep the underside of our material from breaking out. I have disconnected electrical cord as well as my compressed airline again and I've raised my router bit back up uh, about uh, 5 eighths of an inch, 3 quarters of an inch above the table. Set in our new chip breaker. A little screw and with our 3 millimeter Allen key, tighten that back up. easy. Okay. The chip breaker will only do its job if it has a clean outline cut of the router bit. If this is torn out or chipped on the top then you may as well not have a chip breaker in there because it can't do its job. This is the reason why the first cut needs to be made from the top down and we need to place some sacrificial material on top to basically act as a chip breaker for the chip breaker for that first cut. So, I have a piece of plywood here, any type of flat straight molding will work. We'll place that on top. The router bit, because of the rotation, will like to move your material to the left. So, using a square stub here blocks that sideways movement, which is helpful. And then I also like to put my normal fence plate on here. Tighten that up and I push that in so now my scrap piece is tied back and forth and left to right and as a last thing because we're not using compressed air when we're cutting the chip breaker we're doing it by hand I don't have any air pressure on the hold down clamp but it has this foam pad on the bottom so I will lower it down and then push down on top while I tighten the hold down stem so now my scrap piece is securely held in place and what I need to do is plug in my uh, power cord this will turn the motor on and then I will slowly turn my stem on the back to lower that motor in a controlled speed down through the sacrificial plywood on top through the chip breaker simply keep backing off that screw until the motor shuts off. When the motor is all the way down in the home position, it triggers the motor switch and the machine will shut off. So we'll plug it back in. Again, make sure you've got some free play on that stem. Lower the lock nut. This is a good time to tighten the lock nut before you step back around your machine. See the little cut that we have here? Clean, straight outline in the chip breaker, no tear out, no chip out. The, this will do its job and the machine is now ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate your business. If you ever have any issues, any questions with your machine, please reach out to us at uh, Hoffman USA. Um, you can reach us uh, toll free at 866-248-0100 or contact us through our website that is Hoffman and that's H-O-F-F-M-A-N-N dash USA.com. Thank you.